guys welcome we are yeah, she messed it up. Yeah, guys, welcome once more to our YouTube channel. So we're looking at episode two of Northwest Mock 2022. Let's go. Yeah, guys. So just pass up the video here. Check out the problem and see if you can solve it. If you have any problems, refer to what we've done. Okay, so question two right there. So the very first thing we have to do in calculating the tension in the stream is that hey guys, you have to resolve the tension in the stream, right? This attention right here, resolve it. The vertical component is going to be T cos 30 degrees. Horizontal um, horizontal component is going to be perfect. So, and this horizontal component has a significance because remember that this is a uh, conical pendulum. So, the significance of this horizontal component is that hey, it provides a centripetal force that keeps this particle in the circular path. So we're going to use that, that C sign 30 will provide the centripetal force, which is M omega squared R, okay? And we'll call that equation one. And then our T equals theta, which is the vertical component of the tension, will provide, will balance out the weight. That's why we create that to MJ. If we, from equation two, of course, we can make T the subject, which is the tension in the string, and you notice that M T will be MJ on cos 30, which means T is, of course, 23 newtons. That's easy to get. Over to um Roman two, which says a period of revolution of the bulb. Okay, to get a period of revolution of the bulb, we can ratio equation one to equation two. And so C goes with C sine theta over cos theta gives us tan thirty. We're going to get M go goes with M and we have omega squared R over G. And so we make omega the subject and it's G tan thirty over R square root of that, right? Just make omega the subject from here. So omega is uh, all of this, what's our radius? Radius you have to resolve the length of this string. So the length has components L cos 30 here and L sine 30 here. And that L sine 30 equals the radius of the path described by the particle. And so we get that in and uh, right here, you see me replacing R with L sine 30. And so our omega is, right, L is 1.1 sine 30, you put it there. And you simplify that, your calculator does the rest. Omega is 3.2074. Uh, now, but omega is 2 pound C, right? So Again, we make T the subject from there, and you realize that our T is two seconds. Of course, respecting the number of significant figures that is given in the least data in the question. So I always tell students to write the answer in two significant figures, even though I've written this one in one, because it works quite well here, right? Because the data you've given here is in two significant figures. And the examiners, oh, this is 30 degrees here. So this one is in one significant figure. So again, you can go ahead and write it in one significant figure, all right? But writing it in two significant, two significant figures always works, okay? Always, in every GC question that you would ever find. All right, so the last part is, um, of course, Roman 3, the tangential velocity of the bar. Sorry, I've not indicated that it's Roman 3, I'm solving now. So what have I done? I've just reissued equation 1 to equation 2 again, but I've, instead of using m omega squared r, I've used another form of the centripetal force, which is mp squared over r, right? So when we ratio those two, we're going to get tan theta to be p squared over r j instead of tan theta to be omega squared r over g. Okay, so when you use other form, you get this. And so we can make v the subject from here because that is a tangential velocity of the bulb. And so substitute what r is. Remember, r is l sine 30, and we already got it from here, right? right? And so that's 0 0.55 multiplied that with g multiplied that with tan 30. And so our v is square root of that, and our v is 1.8 meters per second. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked it. Let's Great. move on to the next.